This is a demo for Fixel ALCE, which stands for Advanced Local Contrast Enhancer. So the problem with most contrast operations, such as curves or levels, is that they get applied to the image as a whole. And we all know that, um, you know, that doesn't always work very well. Why? Well, because the image has some bright spots and some dark spots. And so if we were, for example, to go ahead and put um, auto levels here, and we'll just uh, crank up the thing, you can see that um, very quickly her hair is getting blown out here. And, uh, you know, well, it's just not looking very good. We're gonna go ahead and um, make a snapshot here. We'll go ahead and turn that off. We'll also go ahead and take a look at curves. Curves are very common. Um, with curves, you have this, 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 you know, this curve really, where you can actually sort of do different things in the highlights and then in the contrasts. I'm sorry, in the dark areas. But again, it's being sort of applied to the whole image as a whole. And here, I'm really not not really able to get something that looks very good. Um, right out of the gate um, but just for sake we'll go ahead and take a snapshot for that as well so here's where um, ALCE comes in ALCE actually studies the image and the algorithm scans for local tonal changes in the image and then applies the levels operation on each tonal area independently and then you know very smoothly um, you know applies it across the image so it looks you know you don't see it as a patchy kind of a thing so let's go ahead and do this here so now let's go ahead and look at the auto levels and let's go look at the curves so you can see here even the curves which you probably not have noticed before you're still losing all this detail in her hair but now with um, Fixo ALCE you can see that we're getting a punch in the image and still retaining the detail in her hair, which is fantastic. Now, of course, it's actually doing something else um, that might be good for the background, where it's basically bringing out all the independent sort of tonal range detail out in contrast. But in her face, there's all this splotchiness that is also being brought out. So if we turn it off and we look at the original, so this is the original and this is the effect, you can see here how all of this stuff is being brought out in her face, which we don't want. So thankfully there's a control for that called filter radius. If we crank up the radius, you'll see now that the splotchiness is gone, but we then now lose a little bit of the contrast. I, I still think overall, so this is before and after, I think before and after it's still very, it still does a really nice job, but what I would really like is to have the higher radius just on her face and then leave it to the default in the background so thankfully that's easily done in After Effects we just go ahead and duplicate the layer since we don't need the auto levels and curves we'll delete that and then we're just gonna create a uh, quick mask on her face we'll go ahead and feather that Let's say 50, 50 pixels and so now the her face just her face has the filter radius of 50 and then the background one we'll put back to the default and so if we look at now the before and after, you can see now that the background is being punched up really nicely and her face is being also enhanced, but without the splotchiness being enhanced as well. Uh, and then finally, um, there's this cool uh, suppress halos feature. So if we turn it off, you can see that there's some haloing happening here in the edges of the image that when we turn that on, see before and after, you can see it smooths out that haloing that's happening in the background and then of course we can also increase the intensity so let's just really crank this up so of course we're just doing that on the background and we're leaving her face Whoa. so now again before after before and after so really what's really cool is that this is just three little uh, sliders that you just put it on and the image is going to come to life without you having to do very much or even understand very much about what's happening be below the hood. But um, there's another video uh, linked here that you can check out for a more technical explanation about what 
ALC actually is and how it works. Hope you guys enjoy it.